Welcome to the introduction to the PMI construction professional certification. So I've gone through all the modules. I've gone through the, the complete course in detail. And after, after that, I, I'm thinking of sharing the details with you. So PMI CP certification uh, is one of the latest uh, certifications by Project Management Institute USA. Uh, it focuses on built environment or construction project management. So the primary focus of this certification is to prepare construction managers to lead, plan, and manage contracts. The focus is on scope management. The focus is on contracts. The focus, focus is on communication, and the focus is on uh, communication technology use uh, for uh, collaboration. So uh, this is exclusively, uh, this prepares the uh, construction professionals uh, to lead, plan, and manage contracts uh, more efficiently. And the eligibility for this is three years of project experience in built environment uh, and, and complete the necessary uh, training. Uh, three years experience that is uh, very much required uh, because uh, one is, this is stipulated by PMI uh, and the reason behind that is if you don't have exposure to construction projects, then it becomes very difficult to uh, really understand the concepts or relate with the concepts. That way, I really appreciate the three years uh, mandatory requirements uh, to construction projects, exposure to construction projects, and complete the necessary training. I'll, I'll take you through the training options available in the subsequent slides. <coughs> The course modules, these are the modules provided by, sorry, by the PMI's uh, online course for PMI CP, that is PMI Construction uh, Professional. Uh, we, one module uh, that is on construction project communications, uh, and that gives six professional development units. And then we have construction interface management, that is three PDUs and construction scope and change order management, that is three PDUs, and construction contract and risk management, five PDUs. I've gone through most of these modules. Uh, that gives uh, a, a wider perspective uh, or the, about the significance of these things in large built environment uh, projects. So that is that is the value. Okay, uh, if you are a PMP certified professional, uh, we might be knowing these concepts at a at a very uh, high level. Uh, but when we this course will this gives in depth understanding of uh, construction contract and risk management, scope and change order management, and its impact on the contracts and construction interface management. That was something uh, very new for me. I, I, after going through the course only, I really understood the, the significance, uh, significance about it. And later on, uh, I realized that, okay, most of the mega projects have uh, interface managers and interface coordinators, apart from the regular project managers and regular uh, <coughs> project coordinators. And construction project communications uh, here, this is becoming very, very critical in project environments. So large projects where the number of stakeholders are very high, uh, we, need, we need to uh, design and plan communication systems well in advance. So this course helps us to expand our horizons on these areas. Uh, now, 
about the PMI construction professional exam, it comprises of 120 questions which must be completed in 230 minutes. And all the questions are objective types, similar to the PMI, PMP questions. Uh, PMI uh, CP exam, uh, the cost for it, uh, around 30,000 Indian rupees is for uh, completing uh, the online modules provided by PMI, which are very, very user friendly. I like those courses. They are, so all the modules put together, uh, that will work out to be around 30,000 Indian rupees for the courses and uh, around 23,000 for the exam. So put together, uh, one must invest uh, or willing to invest around 50, 53,000 rupees uh, for uh, becoming a PMI CP credentialed uh, project professional. <clears throat> so these are the costs for the PMI members. Uh, if you are a non-member, then the cost will be slightly on the higher side. So it is always advisable to become a PMI member uh, and avail these discounts, which is much, much higher than the PMI membership cost. Uh, now the various training options available uh, for us. Uh, for the PMI CP, PMI that is construction professional, the PMI website itself, that is PMI.org itself, uh, provides uh, online training program, which is self-paced and online, very user-friendly. I liked it. I like the way uh, it is presented. It is very, very effective. And the advantage is it is it can it is student paced okay so it is we are not bound to an instructor go there etc etc uh, this can be uh, it is a self paced training program so it has its own advantages then uh, the same PMI CP training program uh, slowly but surely. Uh, there are PMI authorized uh, training partners, so they they deliver instructor-led training for this. And there are other training institutions and universities who can provide uh, this uh, training. <clears throat> so my recommendation is now, uh, if you are a uh, if you are an experienced person, uh, and if you have exposure to PMP kind of examinations then it is better to go for uh, the PMI training, uh, self-paced online training. Uh, and if you get somebody who has gone through this process as a men, you know, uh, if that person can act as a mentor, uh, then that will be good for you. That is sufficient. Or if you are hell-bent on attending a classroom kind of training, then PMI authorized training partners and other training institutions also will be providing these things. Uh, so this PMI authorized training partners uh, list is available at the pmi.org site. <clears throat> now coming back to the difficulty level, uh, if you are already PMP certified or if you are familiar with these kind of certifications, this will be a medium difficulty for those who have hands-on experience in built environments and for those who have who knows the uh, PMI's exam patterns objective type exam patterns I'll say that this is a difficulty difficulty level will be medium now which one is better PMP or PMI CP. CP stands for construction professional. In my view, there is no comparison. Uh, the PMP focuses on the entire project span. You know, it starts with uh, 
uh, initiation, uh, planning, execution, monitoring and controlling, and closing. And it talks about risk management, procurement management, communication management, resource management, human resource management, uh, change management, et cetera, et cetera. So the focus of PMP exam is, is it covers the wide spectrum of project management, whereas the PMI CP, it focuses on, uh, primary focus is on successful contract management. Uh, PMI CP is a good option for construction professionals to further their skills after their PMP certification. So if somebody asks me this question like, which certification I should do first, PMP or PMI ACP, uh, I will always suggest PMP because that is the most popular certification uh, in the world today. Uh, and that will give you uh, the overall idea of project management and maybe uh, as a part of earning sufficient PDUs for maintaining your PMP certification, then you go for PMI CP. Uh, so, and PMI CP is a great option for already PMP certified professionals to further their credentials as well as earn PDUs if you are from the built environment. Uh, so after PMI construction professional certification, there is, uh, there is another credential called PMI SCP, that is Senior Construction Professional. So after PMI CP, if we can complete additional modules like construction performance and materials management, construction technology and innovation, and construction execution planning, then you will get PMI SCP, that is Senior Construction Professional Credential. Again, I'll suggest PMP, PMI CP, then PMI SCP can be a good credential path or a, yeah, that is a suggested credential path. Uh, now, this video is brought to you by the Project Management Research Institute. Uh, you can access our website at pmri.in and we have this YouTube channel that is youtube.com slash pmri campus. Uh, there uh, we publish our regular videos uh, there. Uh, so if you have any queries uh, regarding the PMI CP certification, please post it as a comment to this video. I'll, I, can, I will definitely answer that. Thank you very much.